Hey what's up guys, I'm back with another video on some dope customization apps that you should definitely install before the year ends. Let's get started. First on the list we have navbar animations which is one crazy awesome mod for your boring old navigation bar. Every time you click on the home button or recents, the animation is played. There are many categories that pack various different animations to choose from and recently the Justice League pack was added so that you can animate Batman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Aquaman and even the Flash on your navigation bar. And like that there are many other categories such as Star Wars, Rockstar, Metrical, Halloween and many more. There are a few settings you can alter such as animation speed, color and alignment. So it's a nice way to make your phone look and feel more lively but just know that it is a demanding app that means it will drain battery and occupy memory. Next we have another widget. It's a simple digital clock widget that comes with a few modifications. You can change the text size, color, font and even shadow for different elements. There's also an option for calendar events which is if you enable it it will display your upcoming events below the time. You can also add weather information to the widget provided by Google. Overall it's a nice minimal widget for a stock looking home screen. Following that we have Launcher Launcher. So just looking at it, there's nothing special with the Google search by the top and the shortcuts at the bottom. Swiping up brings the app drawer which is currently presented in a list form. The main fun is when you jump into the settings menu. First looking at the themes, you can change the icon pack and shape. You can animate the clock icon, change the theme from light to dark or black. You can also add blur to the interface that is on the search bar and dock. And you can also mess around with the desktop that is enable pixel search bar, color and size of icons and even change the grid size. You can also get the usual dock and app draw customization to make them look and feel as per your needs. Overall it's a stock pixel launcher but the extra features are a nice touch. Next up we have Pixelscapes. It's a live wallpaper that only comes with three different wallpapers. One is a peaceful winterscape in the night with the stars shining above. The second one is a bunch of small islands during the evening and you get also get to see windmills, boats and birds. The final one is a single stranded island under the open sky as you get to see a variety of fish swimming by in the ocean. The concept is very simple but turns out to be a great add-on to any setup as the wallpaper slowly drifts across the screen. After that we have drawers. And it is what it says, draws on the edge of your screen that you can organize your apps in. Simply pull it out to get access to up to 5 apps from any screen. There's not much to customize apart from the number of drawers and the number of apps you want in each drawer. It's a very basic idea that can be pretty helpful in case you like switching quickly between different apps. Moving on we have Urza Icon Pack which packs over 1200 shapeless icons for a fresh new look on your home screen. Like they don't follow a certain shape such as square or circle or any other. There are a variety of icon alternatives whether it's apps, games or even dynamic calendars. They all have vibrant punchy colors to pop out on your home screen. To complete the setup you also get over 20 full HD wallpapers offer a really nice selection of photography. You also have the usual icon request tool in case you want the missing icons to be themed by the developer. And for the noobs out there there's also a FAQ section that will provide you with all the answers. Last on the list is this amazing KLWP home screen setup that I came across. So it's part of the PK KLWP pack and it's the first one on the list. Just apply it and you're good to go. On the main page you have an animated UI which looks pretty cool. Above that you have the date and time and below it you have the battery info plus a google search bar. Tapping on the fingerprint reveals a new page with shortcuts at the bottom. Where you can tap on more to get access to music, weather and events. For music you get the album art plus media controls. For weather you get the temperature, weather conditions, humidity and even wind speed. You also get a forecast for the rest of the week. On events page you get a minimal calendar showing you today's day and date along with the upcoming events. Overall it's just a slick looking home screen setup.